Okay, we're moving right along. We've successfully installed the MetaTrader client terminal. And the client terminal is exactly what we're looking at now on this screen. It's capable of receiving quotes and news, performing trade operations, that's buying and selling, managing and controlling open positions and pending orders, as well as its use in conducting technical analysis studies. You can see the various types of indicators here, and there are a whole host of indicators available for us to choose from. Something that I want to touch on before we go any further is the amount down here, the equity amount. I want you to keep something in mind. This is a virtual equity amount. Okay, so this is opened up on a demo account. And I just I like to stress this so that everyone understands this isn't real money. This is what's known as a paper trading or a practice account. Now, in order to fund your account, you'll be doing it through a compatible Forex broker. And here's something else to note that you cannot set up a live account through the terminal. You can't authorize a live account through the terminal. You can get one set get it set up so you can trade through MetaTrader, but you can't activate one through the terminal. This has to happen through your Forex broker, just to clear that up. Okay, so let's move along. What we're going to do first is we're going to explore the menu up top. File, View, Insert, Charts, Tools, Window, and the Help, of course. And one of the first things we want to do is we want to go to New Chart. When you click on the New Chart button, you see you've got a variety of currency pairs to choose from. Let's just pick the pound dollar here and see what happens. Ah, there we have it. New Chart pops up. So we've got a whole new configuration here in this screen. Now, we're going to go down to Profiles and we're going to save this profile. I'll show you how useful this is. This is really, really wonderful. Always helps to spell it correctly. Remember that. I'd already created such a profile, so Okay, so now I'm going to go to Profiles. I'm going to go to Default. Okay, that's the original, correct? All right, let's go to Profiles. And it, all your profiles that you have will be listed here. There's a new profile with the new added, the brand new added chart. So you can save groups of charts and indicators and studies into a profile and have them at your ready disposal for any type of trading that you wish to do, any type of studies that you wish to conduct. You may concentrate on the euro dollar, US dollar, or the pound dollar, or the dollar yen, whichever. And you may want to have the charts all set up for that specific currency pair, such as this one. Here, if we go to the British pound, each of these, let's do this vertically, is a pound dollar chart. And the difference here is that each of these has a different time frame. Okay. Now, while we're in the chart window here, there is something I'd like to show you very quickly. And that's that if you click on the Maximize button, each of the charts in this group, there were three, gets maximized. And you can move to the tabs down here to move from one chart to the next, should you like to see the chart larger. You go back here, and we are back to the original format. We'll pop back here, go into our default profile, as you can see. 
and there we have it. Okay, so you can see profiles can be very, very powerful, a very powerful way to store all of our favorite settings and setups. So keep that in mind, that setting up a profile is very simple, saving a profile is easy, as well as removing a profile. If you want to remove a profile, let's say we want to remove new profile one, click that. Are you sure? It always asks for confirmation here, and we say yes. Okay, and it's gone. So we go back here. New profile is no longer available. Okay, so let's move along. I move here to Save As. Okay, now what Save As does is it takes the current chart, and let me run, roll back one moment here. The current chart, as you can see, will be that darker color up there. So this is the active chart. And so when you click here, we click Save As, you may be wondering, what the heck is Save As? Well, what it's going to do is it's going to save the data in this particular chart to a .csv format, which is comma-separated value format, which is compatible with Microsoft Excel. So it automatically will name it, as you can see here, Euro dollar US dollar 240. What the 240 is, is 60, which is how many minutes are in an hour, times 4 for 240. So this is the 4-hour chart that we're looking at. So let's go ahead and save that. Okay, it says it exists. Okay, we save that. And let's open that up. All right, here it is, all opened up. Okay, and scroll all the way down here to see things. This is the most recent time. These are the the times, as well as the open, high, low, close, and then that last is a volume figure. So this is basically raw data that you have an opportunity to work with in Excel if you choose to do so. Just wanted you to see what the Save As button is all about and what the file format means as far as the names concerned. Okay, so we pop back up here. Now, let's pop into Save as Picture. You can save the active workspace. Let's pop in here. Let's save the active workspace as Workspace let spell right, okay, and one dot GIF. And okay. So we've saved that. Okay, so this is actually not the screen, but this is the actual image of the workspace that's been captured and it's in my image management program here. So you can see that works very well. Let's go back and let's save something different here. Let's say that you can save an active chart as is or an active chart in an 800 by 600, which is a standard uh, default size here. Or if you've got another size you'd like to save it as, you can do that too. But let's go ahead and save that as 800 by 600. Okay, we don't want it as workspace. We want it as chart. Just uh, give it a quick name. And there you have it. There's the chart all saved. There's a picture of the chart all saved right there for you. It's very nice. Works very, very nicely. Okay, so we're going to continue on. And here, logins, accounts, open an account. You, you've seen that particular screen. Uh, your print setup, depending upon what you want to do. Your print preview. Uh, you can basically print the chart. So if we're looking at printing, say, the four-hour chart here, that's what the print preview will look like in, in black and white, showing that it's from MetaTrader. And it's in this particular format. Okay, just so you'll see that. Okay, let's close that. Go back. 
close out the print, and we're back. Okay, so that basically covers everything moving down here. Of course, exit will close out MetaTrader totally. But that covers everything under our file menu. And when we come back, we're going to cover the view, insert charts, and the other menu tabs up at the top. Thank you very much. See you in the next module.